He will see the white flag. It's one more time around Kentucky Speedway. Can he hang on? Does he have enough fuel? He doesn't look as though he's slowing down. Can he make it? Another half lap at Kentucky. So good on the mile and a half racetracks. But he has never won at this racetrack. Coming through three and four and out of four. Todd Bodine's going to win at Kentucky. Coming back through the trioval. Kyle Busch, Jason White, one and two. Green flag back in the air. A good start by Kyle. Look at Elliott Sattler making a three wide for second. Parker Kligerman on the outside trying to take second away as well. Kligerman with the momentum on the outside. He's going to get oh. second away from Elliott Sadler. Elliott got really, really loose. That puts him in the middle of three wide. Jason White back to the bottom, trying to grab third away from Sadler, but look at Brendan Gaughan on the outside, bringing Todd Bodine with him. Brendan Gaughan moves up to third. Bodine moves into the fourth spot. Can Parker Kligerman reel in the 18? One lap of racing to go when they get to the stripe. White flag in the air. Todd Bodine, we haven't hardly talked about the entire race. He's running fourth right now, trying to get third away from his teammate. Parker Kligerman trying to find a way around the 18 of Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch trying to hang on with a truck he didn't think could win tonight. He's got to make two more turns, and it's going to go straight to victory lane, Rick. Kyle Busch in the Dollar General number 18 didn't practice earlier this morning in the truck, but he didn't need it. Victory lane is the next stop for the 18 of Kyle Busch. White flag goes in the air. One lap remaining in Kentucky. Been a lot of different drivers winning that two truck this year. Will Ron Hornaday's name be added to that list? What about Ron stepping up and saying, I can drive this two truck to victory lane as well. He's got about 10 truck links on Austin Dillon as they head into three. Hornaday, two wins already this season. Texas and Atlanta, both mile and a half tracks. Will he add Kentucky to it? This will be his third win in Kentucky if he hey, holds on. Line, Coming out of four. Ron Hornaday wins career race number 50. Flag one more time around for the 31. Matt Crafton all over the back of Ty Dillon. He's got about three quarters of a lap to try to get it done. Keselowski to the bottom of the racetrack, holding on to second. The battle for third. Ty Dillon just in front of the 88 of Matt Crafton. Keselowski holding on to second. Now here comes the three of Ty Dillon. A hard charge by the 88. The battle for third is on, working through three and four as they battle for position. It's going to be the 31. James Busher winning at Kentucky. They're going to be side by side for that third spot. Very close. It goes to Ty Dillon for third. Keselowski has second. Crafton's going to finish in the fourth spot. Peter coming out of turn number four. This time by. Busher sees the white flag fly. One and a half miles of Kentucky to go. There's a battle for third. Ty Dillon has a little bit of breathing room right now over Joey Coulter. Coulter's been trying to peek to the outside of Dillon. Now he just settles in behind Ty. We talk about how good the 11 of Todd Bodine has been on mile and a half racetracks. Well, in 2012, the one who has been dominant on mile and a half is the 31 of Busher. Busher is going to win at Kentucky. Kyle Busch trying to hold off the three, but already to the bottom of the racetrack goes Ty Dillon. Now they're side by side down the back stretch, racing for the lead. Ty Dillon trying to take it away from the 51 of Kyle Busch. Ty's done it. He's completed that pass. He's going to be able to pull up in front of Kyle. Here comes Ty Dillon. Dillon wins his second Camping World Truck Series race. I'm so proud of you guys. You're awesome. We got a strong team. We won't give up. We're pretty hard-headed. So I hope these guys are ready. We're going to have a, a Superman cape on now. We're ready. The next flag that Kyle Busch will see will be the white flag. Across the stripe he goes. The next flag ends this race. Kyle Busch out in front looking for his fifth win of the 2014 season. Talk about dominating a series when he's in it. Wow. No one has had anything for Kyle Busch when he has entered a truck race. Such a dominant performance, and it doesn't just end in the 2014 season. He won in 2013 as well. Kyle Busch will win again in Kentucky. Good battle side-by-side side for position Austin Dillon.
He edging barely, out Hornaday. Barely clipped Hornaday there at the finish. Great rebound for Austin Dillon.